And now the federal government has trained a total of 56 master trainers for the recently launched Universal Basic Education Effective Schools program in Oyo State. The Executive Secretary of the Universal Basic Education Commission, Hamid Boboi, announced this in Abadon during a five-day training program for the participants. Senior reporter Olaide Oyewole reports. This capacity building initiative is one of the federal government's efforts in addressing the challenges of the learning crisis and the high number of out-of-school children in the country. Master trainers were selected from states across the southern part of the country, including Kwara and Kogi State, and are expected to cascade the training to the teachers in 111 schools across the region. Uh, we started uh, with at the Digital Resource Center in Abuja uh, and the smart schools in each of uh, the 30, 36 states of uh, the Federation and the FCT. We, having done that, we have started moving uh, into uh, our school system to see how do we make them effective and also upgrade them. The UBEC boss reaffirmed the federal government's commitment to creating an environment conducive to providing functional basic education to Nigeria's school age population. We are engaging now. Our hope is that uh, the state will take full ownership of this particular activity. We will support the state's quite all right, the entity, you know, but the state will take full ownership to be able to cascade uh, is it, you know, what is learned here is it, you know, uh, into the entire system. Selected schools have been equipped with ICT equipment with alternative power supply to enable technology-supported teaching and learning. They started with e-learning centers, and these e-learning centers were established across three the uh, senatorial districts. And I think this is uh, what happens in the entire country, all over the states. So from that, they supplied us with a lot of gadgets that will assist this program. And uh, as at this present moment now, the e-learning centers are now being converted to effective schools. That is, rather than being an intervention, now, we now want to see it as a full-blown program. So it is led for us as a state and my other colleagues all over the country too, to ensure that uh, we take it up from where the UBEC has taken it up because they have actually given the lead. The initiative aims to bridge gaps in learning and foster an environment where every child can thrive academically. Alaido Yewale, TVC News, Ibadan.